This video is gonna get a little weird. Kind of giving off Black mirror -y vibes, but I'm also feeling really excited about the tools that we've been given. Now, I'm sure you all have heard of AI. It's been booming recently, and if you haven't heard of it, I'm about to blow your mind. I'm talking about creating artwork from prompts that you give it to writing essays and papers and articles to even editing your videos. And there are so many different tools that I think are really amazing, and I had an idea. Idea. So since becoming a new mommy, I've not only had to figure out what foods I'm gonna consume for myself, but I also need to figure out what foods this tiny human is gonna eat. Now the first six months were really easy because I was exclusively breastfeeding, but once we started introducing solids, it became a little more tricky in kind of figuring out a flow of food and groceries. And I found myself using the majority of my time preparing foods and meals for my baby and kind of, I was just, you know, second thoughts. I usually would end up just ordering food for myself and it became to be really unhealthy. I was spending a lot of money and decided that I needed some help on trying to get a hold of the situation of being a mommy and still eating really clean and healthy and getting all the nutrients that I need while also giving that to my baby. And if you're on the internet, you have definitely seen ChatGPT. And so I thought, why don't we ask ChatGPT to create a meal plan for us with a specific calorie intake per day and also create a grocery list for me? Because that is where I feel like I get caught up is not only finding these, these amazing recipes to follow, but the grocery list. So I went over to ChatGPT and I asked it to do this for me. I wanted to be a little specific with my prompt, so I told it that I wanted it to be high protein, not a lot of carbs, only at night. And I believe I put either 17 or 1800 calories per day, which I'm not even sure is the correct amount for me, but I kind of just threw a number out there and was gonna determine if I felt full enough after eating a meal. And I wanted to have these meals be on the healthier side because, you know, found like I was kind of slipping. Um, so I just wanted to get back on track. So I gave it those specifics and it came out with a meal plan. It began spitting out meals for every single day, breakfast, lunch, and dinner with a snack included. And as someone who has never meal planned in my life and who really likes to have a schedule, this was just so eye-opening to do. Now, once it spit out all the meals, I was like, this is amazing, cool, but I don't know how to cook any of this. I asked it to spit out instructions for me, and it did. And once it finished that, I asked for a grocery list, and it gave me that too. I thought it was really neat because it told me exactly how much of each item I would need so I wouldn't have any leftovers, and I wouldn't have to do those calculations myself. I was straight up so amazed that it could do this. I was so excited, and once I had got the grocery list, the instructions, and the food, I decided to go through the list myself just to double check to see if it added everything that I needed. I did see some items that were in the weekly plan that weren't on the grocery list, so, uh, you know, already catching some flaws, it's already, already slipping, <laughs> AI caught you slipping. But once I had that grocery list down, it was really easy to just go back and think, okay, what am I gonna make my baby? What's he gonna try this week since we're doing baby led weaning and he's still tasting all the things? And it just made it so simple and easy to just order everything and have food for the week ready to go. You'll see later on in the video I learned very quickly, it's a lot to cook every single meal, every single day. But let's start at the beginning of the week. All right, it's Monday. Meal number one is a mushroom and spinach omelet. Hubby already chopped up some mushrooms. Yeah, we're gonna cook this breakfast up and show you what it looks like when we're done. omelet came out. Not doing bread, so instead we're having some avocado. Here's Leo's food. That looks like a yummy breakfast. Now to try it. Not bad. Needs more flavor. I want some of that hot sauce. I could still really taste the mushrooms and I don't think I'm not that big of a fan of mushrooms, but you know, it's good to try new things. All right, so it's lunchtime. We are going to have a chicken salad. 
I am prepping the veggies. I'm going to be slicing some cucumbers. I already have some sliced carrots and hubby's taking care of the chicken. We're also going to be making Leo some chicken and I already have some pre-made little zucchini bites for Leo. So it makes it a little bit easier to meal prep. Okay. See how it tastes. I'm trying to get everything in one bite. It is a salad. <laughs> I like the cucumbers and the carrots though. They add a nice crunch. All right, it's time to start dinner. We have salmon, cauliflower rice, and broccoli on the menu. delicious we got a booch going on here's leo's dinner he has salmon broccoli puree sweet potato and this like little mango donut that we made him and he's so ready to eat huh leo we're all ready to eat yeah. okay dinner was my favorite meal of the day i think it's because we put our own little flair on things added some more seasonings and toppings to the rice right, it's tuesday morning for breakfast we are having greek yogurt with banana and almonds this is a little bit lower protein breakfast than i'm used to i always have like either eggs or sausage or a lot of protein in the morning so we're gonna see how i feel i knew that the almonds and bananas weren't gonna be enough so i added some raspberries blueberries and chia seeds here is little leo's breakfast he's having his omelet from yesterday and then some yogurt and he's trying raspberries for the first time you ready bud yeah let's see how this menagerie of things tastes i've never had yogurt like this it's like tart it's very tart we'll see if we get full okay after finishing the breakfast still a little hungry i probably would have done maybe like a boiled egg or something or maybe add more almonds because i didn't even know that almonds are high in protein okay it's lunchtime. we're having turkey and cheese roll-ups but we made the mistake of buying ground turkey instead of sliced turkey all right this i think is the first meal where i'm like looking at the food and feeling like this is not gonna be enough food for me i've never had anything like this before and it just looks so sad the first one was a little bit of a trial and error. Uh, I call it a turkey burrito. This one's for you, babe. This like one's for you, you love burritos. This is a different type of burrito. This is like a mutated <laughs> one. And then, you know, I decided to do individual turkey wraps because it'd be easier to roll. So I think these ones came out much, much nicer. Moment of truth. Mm. It needs something. <laughs> yeah. Saves the day, yellow bird. Not sponsored. Yeah, it's missing flavor for sure. Okay, time to start prepping dinner. We are having grilled chicken with roasted veggies and a side salad. Mm. Feeling a little bit tired. I normally don't cook this much every single meal. And this is it's a lot for me. Fried cranberries. Just throw some carrots in there and just Throw them in. I'm, fed up. I'm just realizing that our dinner doesn't have any carbs. I told this AI I wanted carbs for dinner. All right, so here is dinner. I didn't measure anything out. I, you know, I'm just hungry. <laughs> I feel like all of this is really good food and I am working out. So I do need a little bit uh, more fuel. Okay, it's Wednesday morning. Little Leo is here with me. We are gonna have a simple breakfast. Cottage cheese with peaches and almonds. All right, so here's the breakfast. We are gonna have a protein drink because honestly, I don't think it's enough. And uh, <laughs> this is Leo's breakfast. He's trying cottage cheese. He has some broccoli puree and then these little mango oatmeal eggs. You ready to try something new? What are you doing that? <laughs> and for mommy's cottage cheese. I forgot how cottage cheese tastes. It's kind of sour. 
All right, so it's lunchtime and I saw on the menu we're supposed to have tuna, but tuna was not on our grocery list, so we don't have it. So we are going to substitute the menu for what we had yesterday. I'm gonna have a redo at making my hubby's wraps. We're not doing burritos this time, but I think I might add some more stuff inside of it. Okay, so here are my wraps. I added cucumber. Okay, so we're getting ready to cook dinner. We're looking at what's for dinner. It's supposed to be like a turkey chili, and I'm scrolling to look for the recipe, and it's not here. So we're gonna be improvising, and we are gonna be making a spicy Thai basil ground turkey, since we have the turkey. I also realized that there's no carbs for this meal. I can't do it anymore. I can't, I, I've tried to hold on. I need some sort of carbs for dinner, okay? I'm starting to get really mad with ChatGPT. There is a war of brewing in my head right now. I don't know, I don't know how much longer I can do this for. I'm feeling a little bit frustrated just because I thought I had everything ready and planned out and I don't. Okay, dinner is served. We have about 3.5 ounces of potatoes, four ounces of meat, and I think around three ounces of veggies. All right, Thursday morning, our breakfast is supposed to be scrambled eggs, avocado, and tomato, which sounds pretty boring to me. <laughs> so we're gonna be making, we're, we're, you know, we're putting our touch on it. We're gonna zhuzh it up a little. We're making a frittata. So at this point, I was feeling a little irritable. I kind of just went cold turkey and had very low carbs. Some of the food was kind of bland and seemed like, well, it was made by a robot. So I found myself by the end of the week, I was just kind of throwing stuff together, adding more seasoning and figuring out what I liked because <laughs> you know, there's one thing you don't mess with, with me. And I know there's a lot of you out here like me is you don't mess with my food okay you mess with my food you got a very very unhappy girl on your hands <laughs> so i wouldn't say we completely made it all the way through the week but we did cook every single one of our meals for the entire week except for friday dinner because girl just wanted some pizza now did i like the overall experience would i recommend that you try it out yourself honestly i would recommend that you try this because for me personally it shifted something in my mind where it made me want to prepare the week's worth of food and actually have a schedule. So my husband and I, the next week on that Sunday, we figured out what we were eating every single day. And the way that we planned it was we cooked big meal prep portions on one specific day. And then we have leftovers another day. And then we cook mainly just twice a week is we'll do like meal preps for the week. So we're not constantly cleaning and cooking and cleaning and cooking because that can just take up so much time in a day and it's just more sustainable to kind of plan it out that way so the big takeaway that I took from it is that I think it is a great starting point for you to build upon and I also thought it was really cool to try different recipes that my husband and I have never tried like those turkey wraps we still make them and they're just a really quick and light meal and you know it just opens your eyes to different things that you would have never tried so that's another thing that I think is another big takeaway from this whole experiment is it kind of gets you out of your comfort zone now I most definitely would have gotten better results Results. Had I gone to a nutritionist who could have, you know, made a specific plan that's specific to me and my body and my goals and my family's goals. So 100% would have gotten better results that way. But to be honest, that's not really a tangible thing for a lot of people. So I thought that I would give this a try, report back to you all, and I would say, try it out. It really was a lot of fun. And another takeaway is that it took away a lot of the decision making that I had to make that day. Decision fatigue is real and sometimes you just want to have something list out of what you're gonna eat so you're not guessing you know that day like what do we want to eat? Oh we need to make it and we need this much time and we don't have this and it just takes away a lot of stress. So I found it really helpful and I found it to be fun and I think it's something that you should try if you're interested in it and yeah let me know how it goes if you do try it out. But I really hope you all enjoyed this type of video I know I don't really do much AI on the channel but let me know if it's something you want to see more of because I am definitely interested in it I've always loved like AI filters 
I just find it really interesting and I just love seeing tools given to us to be able to use to make our lives easier. So just really excited about that. But thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all later. Bye-bye.